Thirteen years ago, a jury deliberated for just two hours before finding John Wayne Gacy guilty of murdering 33 young men and boys. The evidence seemed clear. Gacy went to death row. But tonight in News Extra, Channel 2 exclusive, John Gacy speaks out claiming that he is a victim of circumstance. And he sets out to try to prove it to Channel 2's Walter Jacobson. Walter? Uh, Linda, Gacy is, as you noted, I think quite accurately a minute ago, a man who was found guilty of all those murders and of being plenty sane enough to have committed them very quickly. The jury acted in fewer than two hours. There were half a dozen pieces of evidence that were just overwhelming. But Gacy now says that he refused that evidence. And all he's owning up to is having some knowledge of just five of the murders and direct knowledge of even fewer than that. If you want to charge me with any, anything, charge me with complicity in two of the murders. Just two? That's all I know about. That's his story, that he didn't kill anyone. Just an accomplice, he says, and that he helped dispose of two. One of them, Robert Peast, who was 15 years old when he went to the house on Somerdale. Gacy owned a construction company and invited young Peast to apply for a job. Robert Peast was killed by another individual in my home. How did he get to your home? Uh, he was transported to the house by another. How did the other, whoever he was, kill Robert Peace? I believe he was strangled. You were there, right? Not during the crime, but I was there afterwards, and I watched the removal of the body. And what, what happened to the body afterwards? It was one that was... That, was that body was put into the river. taken to the river and dumped in the river. Did you help do that? Yes, I'm, I'm in complicity with that. I've always, I've always consented. Don't, don't look at me as an innocent babe of the woods. Not for a second would I look at John Gacy as a babe in the woods. He may be admitting now only to being an accomplice. But 13 years ago, when he was arrested, he confessed to almost everything. You have all the bodies, Gacy said, and there was even a killer map showing where 27 youths were buried. And in fact, he led police to his garage and sprayed orange paint on the concrete to mark the spot precisely where a body was found. No, 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 no. Now, he says, he was simply marking a spot where some new concrete had been poured. In regards to going out into the garage, yes, I know I went to the house, and yes, I know I walked in the garage, and they asked me where the last section of concrete was poured. Okay. I said, there's the last section where the last section of concrete was poured. Okay. They are the ones that took the orange can of paint and said, here, put a mark there. So I put an X there. So the paint was not to identify the place of burial? No. No, it never was. They asked me what but according happened. to authorities who were with Casey that morning, he made more than just an X on the floor. He sprayed a stick figure with the orange spray can in the garage. Not just a mark, a stick figure showing the orientation of the body. Right underneath that stick figure, exactly where he drew it, pointed in the direction he drew it, was the body of John Buckingham. Yeah. And then there's the Gacy confession about how he killed his victims. Strangled them with his now infamous rope trick that police say he demonstrated to them with a rosary bead. He says he was simply discussing knots in general. Catch his sense of humor. Too late, huh? You're in trouble now. <laughs> yeah, right. Are you afraid sitting that close? To me? What the hell? Oh, this is too long. I oh, don't need it this long. Okay. I had a rosary, which I carried in my pocket. I've always carried a rosary. It was my communion uh, rosary. They said, well, what, what kind of... Uh, a knot to you use. I said, what do you mean knot? When I tie things up, I, I says, uh, depending on what I'm using it for, I said, the only thing I ever learned was from Boy Scouts is a tourniquet knot. He said, well, show us what that is. So I took, at that time, it, and again, it's together, but in order to demonstrate it here, I took the rosary and I said, well, here, you, you put it around. This is hard trying to do this. Why don't you put your hand out? Okay, here. What I told him, I said, here, all you do is you, you wrap it around. You put one knot in it. And I said, then you put a second knot in it. Okay? Mm -hmm. I said, then you take a stick and stick it in here, and you just turn this. And I said, it causes an tourniquet. I said, that's the only knot I ever learned. Precisely the kind of knot found on the ropes wrapped around the necks of the victims found under the house on Somerdale. And there was other compelling evidence, including wallets and rings from the victims found in Gacy's home that leave no doubt whatever he was the killer. But what is it that made him do what he did? A look at the mind of a serial killer tomorrow.